Let's look at this one together. The first thing that I need to do is find a common denominator. One third is equal to how many twelfths? Four twelfths. Now I cannot do four twelfths minus seven twelfths, so I need to regroup. I have seven and four twelfths, or sorry, I need to add my one. So now I have seven and 16 twelfths, and I really do just recommend rewriting the problem. Minus five and seven twelfths. 16 minus seven is nine twelfths. It's two and nine twelfths, which can be reduced to two and what, Harper? Three fourths. Okay, now the last thing I wanna say about being a level four. When you do the race, you have to give me the equation and tell me why you added or subtracted those fractions. You do not tell me how you subtract. You tell me why you subtracted those. What do the numbers represent? You can add in that you needed to reduce, but you don't have to say how you reduced. You're not explaining to me how to add and subtract fractions. You're telling me why you did it. Just like if it were a whole number. Okay, what question? Mason. So, I know you said this is correct on spirals, but I still wanna make sure it's correct for standards. So, if you are, say, you're um, reducing or finding a common denominator, well, finding a common denominator, do you say like I multiplied this times one whole or whatever equals? You don't even have to tell me. Like you could say, you could literally just say, I subtracted eight and one third minus five and seven twelfths equals two and three fourths because Nolan ate eight and one third pizzas and Max ate two and or five and seven twelfths pizzas and I needed to know how much more Nolan ate. You don't have to say, so I had to multiply eight, one third times four over four to get a common denominator. Hey guys, are you listening? Are you listening? What, what I really meant was you did your problem and then, but you did it, but you explained that you did that problem because this, well, never mind. On the spiral, it was different because you had to find one ninth of 99. So you did have to tell me why you did 99 divided by nine or one ninth times 99, okay? But on this, you're either adding or subtracting. So you just have to tell me why you added and subtracted those numbers, okay? Is that clear? Okay.